What's up everybody? My name is Luciferian and today we're gonna to be jumping into a game called Burning Daylight. It's a uh, walking simulator story-based game, cyberpunk in a dystopian future. Now, the reviews say it's great. It's free on Steam, so let's check it out. Press W or move left stick. Okay. I thought that was kind of going to be like a walking into the light video intro, but uh, I end up just like sitting here waiting for a video that didn't come. Still walking into the light, but not what I expected. Uh, we are a naked boy. Some weird glowy eyes. I look like a an alien. Uh, okay, am I supposed to be walking toward the camera? No. Walking to the left or right. I know my left from right, I promise. I'm not dumb. Just a little bit. Now, I'm just going to say, if this is a walking simulator at this speed, like the entire game, I'm going to be a, a little upset. <laughs> All right, dead bodies littered everywhere. Can we... uh? Can we get your boy some pants? Is, uh... Oh. Oh, we're, we're still supposed to be moving. Not just... Hanging out. Oh my god, they're just mashing the bodies. Uh, move? Uh, get, climb. Climb, 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 climb. Okay, we're going this way now. Guess we get stuck on the dead bodies. We don't want to get grinded up here. All right. So is this what Terminator's like? X. I look like uh, something for controller there, like an Xbox. So I'm glad that actually hitting X worked. Check this door. No, that door doesn't work. What about this button? Okay, that button lit up this room, so we'll go in there. Nutriman? Hello? What? Are you like... You're selling this stuff for nutrients? Other human beings? Kind of creepy. Cannibalism is the future, apparently. Are we just gonna go look out the door? Window? Oh, we've got a symbol on our chest. Oh shit. You didn't see me, uh, weird little robot. What's up with the blue light? Uh, break. Uh, come on. A little bit clunky controls here. Okay. So we're going to be slamming into this multiple times. 
I still kind of wish I could get this dude a pair of pants. This is like dicks out for Harambe, but just like without without the the gorilla. This is just dicks out. Wee. Okay. There's that nutrient sign again. Oh, we just running by it. Okay. I thought we were going to try and get in that door. So. Another human, it seems. Is just being tormented by a speaker. Okay. He will provide giant monster. Okay, so that's glass, and we don't want to go there. All right. Something over here happened. Oh, that fell down and killed him. Nice. Did, did I get something from him? I got his shoes. All right, so we take his shoes, but not his pants. We're worried about the glass uh, hurting our feet, but screw it. We're a pantless, pantless person, apparently. I don't know. I wish I was that confident. To be honest. I think if I had to walk around uh, without, you know, anything on, I might get a little self-conscious after a while. Burning daylight. Okay, so that was like the, uh... I don't know, this is only supposed to be like, maybe an hour long game, so... I'm interested in, uh... That is like the intro to the game. Or that's where it gives its, uh... You know, title. Word up. It automatically crouches, that's nice. What's up with you? Can I like kill these dudes and take their clothes? Like I said, I'd really like a pair of pants. Why does nobody else seem concerned? Why has everyone else got clothes? Oh, oh. Okay. We got a jacket. So... <laughs> We've got a jacket and shoes. But we are still missing the pants. 62. I wonder if that's relevant.
Can't get in there? Didn't even give me a prompt, so I'm kind of curious. Even though it didn't give me a prompt for that door, I was still able to attempt to open it. So I'm curious if there's like other things that I'm just not attempting to do. Then again, nothing without a prompt hasn't opened. See, th okay, this guy's pantless too. We're one and the same. We're like brothers. Still in the, uh, same. Okay. Might as well just continue to move our naked butt over here. Okay, that's the symbol I have. And we fell down a hole. Okay. Strange. There's a light over here. These look like buttons. Is this anything? It is. All right. Uh, any of you people got some pants for me? Hey, how are you doing, buddy? So glad you picked me up. Listen, I'm pretty low on battery. Could you let me find a charging station? Make an emergency call in there. Okay. So now we're looking for a charging station. Or some weird thing on our head? It's, I don't know what it does. Again, we can find everything in the world other than pants. about that okay so do we go back up here now oh, oh. okay go down here check for pants I'm unnaturally interested in pants I feel like okay so down here down here wasn't wasn't squat I'm investing a lot of time into the pants thing Recycle. Hmm. I mean, I guess they are recycling human beings into food, but I guess it counts. Vegan? Are humans considered vegan? I'm curious. Do we have any vegans out there? Would eating another human being be considered vegan? Yeah. How could you skip gymnastics? 
Almost home. Okay. Where is home? Do I have to like find the right one? I'm going to assume it's like none of these actually. Yep. Wasn't any of them. What's that thing up there? Okay, look at this one. Partially open. Uh, okay. Now plug me in, baby. Now plug me in, baby. Okay. Oh, look. I see pants. There's pants on the ground. Pick them up. <laughs> What the shit? <laughs> I'm actually offended. Hey, hey nice. <gasps> oh, now there's arrows of the pants. Hell yeah. There we go. Oh. Now we get coins. Alright. I'm gonna assume the coins were telling me to go that direction. But I just wanna make sure. Oh, nothing. Alright. So we'll we'll go uh check it out. I'm glad we got pants now. It was actually somewhat worrying before. Alright. So I'm curious if we're gonna be uh no, I guess not. Let's collect some coins. What are we, Sonic the freaking Hedgehog here? Alright, so we were like a minute away from becoming like a vegan meal supplement. And, uh, now we're out becoming Sonic the Hedgehog with, a, a computer being weird. Yo, what up? Are you a prostitute? What you doing No, You just like high or something? Whoa, that's a cherry. Can I collect him? No. Can't collect the cherry. Okay. Insufficient funds. I. How do you punch? Oh. Okay. Can I move? I can't move. Hello? What? All right. So we're back to where we were. Let's uh, see if hopefully it it doesn't mess up again. All right, fantastic. Oh, 64. All right. There we go. <sighs> I would have been really upset if uh 
it it like locked me in place there the the chapter point was before we even got to our house like way before that like before we went up the elevator to it so so are we supposed to be like pac-man in a sense here like what's going on you can't interact with like anyone here I'm curious if we're going to end up in like another uh, type of insufficient fund type deal if we don't pick up all these coins. It's not like super obnoxious to pick them up, so I guess I'll just pick them all up anyways. But it's like a... A weird mini game inside of a, a game that doesn't need to have these since it's like kind of like a walking simulator storytelling game Nutriman, do not question all right fair enough Oh, so the cherries are just people. Look on his face after that. <laughs> Best Christmas ever. Huh. Kind of figured because they had legs, but I wonder what what gets you know you to be a cherry. One hour provider, 100 coins. Cool. Mm, buy some. All right, let's go check on the Thai food. Can, can we, can we eat some? No, can't eat, can't even eat the Thai food. Unfortunate. Uh, can't do anything. Okay. Mm. Grab that coin up there. I'm curious what uh, this area is and if it's anything that I can deal with. It seems like a club. Nope. Locked. I can't even get in. Oh, oh, I had a prompt over here. Okay. Sounds like there's a cherry over there. I swear if it gets stuck again, I'm gonna get upset. There's one. Punch him. Get in where? I only got one coin for that. Hmm. Where are we trying to get in the club? Or are we trying to get all the way up here? Wait, are we trying to get into like a strip club? going on here what up baby how are you
All right. All right. What up, baby? No. Okay. I figured we'd be doing something here. Oh, man. Look at what they're doing back there. I'm apparently not good enough. Alright, so are we just passing through? We're not allowed in. We're not allowed to have the sexy time. Well, fine. I thought this was dystopian sexy time adventure. You know, since we ran around with our uh, penis out for like 20 minutes. Apparently not. Hey, what up? Can I join? I also just like to watch. I also just like to watch. Exactly. I mean, wait, no. Frank, what are we doing here? We should go back to the sexy place. Go back to the There's sexy place. I concur. I concur. We should definitely go back to the sexy place. However, furry frenzy. No, thank you. Whoa. Hello. So, uh, my thing died. I'm curious if you could, uh, turn that off and go to the sexy place. I'm curious how that would look. I actually should have tried that. Or if once it turns off, you know, it's just off and then you can't. That actually kind of scared the crap out of me. Not gonna lie. They're, they're praying to the giant arm. Hello, what? Is it just going to grab the fat dead body? It is. Okay. All right. Oh, it's going to grab the rest of my bet. Here's all the religious icons. So I wonder if they can tell if your uh, virtual reality headset is off. And if so, you know, that's kind of like the death sentence. However, at the same time, the fact that it would need charging uh, kind of makes me think that that would be a no because people would be taking off all the time. People are just attached here. I wonder what they're doing. Are they like controlling it, giving power or humans energy like the Matrix? Same symbol that's on my chest. I think I don't know if it's on everybody's chest or not because, you know, I didn't not exactly been able to see that. And here we go, all the way up. Uh, hello? Use the button. There we go. Uh, I just plugged it directly into my face. And now I'm floating. Uh, 
Okay, so we blew that up. Kind of curious, uh, you know, what happened to all those people, but that's whatever. Walk down in the light. It won't let us turn back. We no longer have uh, the face mask on, but we still have pants, so that's a plus. I'm so curious what this uh, entire thing is supposed to be. No, not letting me go down the dark hallway. Okay. We'll run down the semi-dark hallway. Hey, that's a tree. Oh, there's some skulls there. I'm curious if this is like made by the same people that made the Stanley parable. This is kind of like the same <laughs> type of ending. weird the graphics have gotten like really clunky Really good art, though. I'm kind of like super curious how this is going to end. Like, is there going to be some decent ending is it going to leave you with that okay feeling or if it's just gonna be like a tragic ending like i kind of feel like it's a after seeing i'm i'm assuming those are supposed to be like animal capsules or something like that and like a whole bunch of tubes and like this like weird garden of eden type thing it's like a an arc type capsule and it's regenerating things because like the world went terrible or something like that that's that's what it feels like it's going to be. And we just flushed a homeboy down. Okay. Curious. All right, we got actual dirt coming in through a door. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually standing in that. Hey, but you know what? If you're going to open the door for me, that's fine. See, that statue has a leaf. That would have been nice. Oh, God. What is going on? It's not letting me move again. Yeah, it's... 
Oh. What? It's not letting me move forward. It keeps getting stuck at this part. I'm gonna have to restart it again. Ah. Oh. But I can go this direction. This is weird. Try and redo this part. Okay. Well, let me replay all this up to this point. How is that how that was? All right, guys. We are back here. I'm just giving a heads up. I, I've already spent about an hour replaying the two freezes this game has had. So if it has another one, it, it's just, you know, that's where we're going to end it. Hopefully, maybe this time being in the light properly allows me to push forward. Okay, we get a push forward. Thank the Lord. I was not about to go play again, especially because for some reason it, it makes us restart from the third chapter. And this is the final chapter, like chapter six or seven. So yeah, any any more of those like game locks where I have to start all the way over again, that'll just be the end of it. But hopefully I can get you guys an ending here. I want to see the ending myself. I think I have it right that this is some kind of like post-apocalyptic cyberpunk arc. You know, maybe the world was a disaster and they they put all the specimens in here waiting for the world to get better. Kind of like a, a cyberpunk Wally. -E. But we shall see. Oh man, this tower goes all the way up into the clouds. That's pretty crazy. Okay, that dude's got my symbol on him. We trading places. And he's naked. What's up with everyone, you know, being naked? Oh, he's old. He's got a beard too. And he just dies right there. Okay. And, and then we go sit in it. Okay. Awkward. Weird. Strange. Okay. Uh. Voice talent. Oh, wait, no, there was that female. That was a lot of voices for, like, voice talents that, uh... I remember exactly like one voice in this. Oh, that was it. Okay. 
I was kind of hoping for like some kind of descriptor ending. Yeah, weird. See, it still locks the chapters. I don't know why it would do that. Okay. Anyways, guys, that was Burning Daylight. Outside of the, uh, the game locks where we couldn't progress any further because of errors in the game, it was okay. Definitely pretty decent for a free game. Uh, amazing artwork. Pretty neat little story. Kind of curious about the ending there. Leaves it a little bit open. But guys, if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. And we'll see you next time.